brand new camera, the DJI Osmos, or Osmo, actually is how it's spelled, action cam. So we're going to try it out. I filmed a little bit with it last night. So today's entire vlog is going to be from it. I'm loading the pine point wood right now. Where this is a tornado track. I'm going to finish loading it up today. I am the only machine left on the job. Everybody else is uh, gone. Moved everybody yesterday. They're gone. Let's see. I'm going to put this one on there backwards. So all I've got to do to get loaded, get, get where I can move, is just load all the wood out. And I think there's going to be about six to seven loads left here to load out is what it's going to be that laid there just right very nice got some more good stuff over here go over on that far side of the trailer let's take it on so i'm just going to kind of film off and on, I've actually got it synced back to my phone right here. I got my phone turned opposite of which I can do this right here. Let's see it. There we go. The uh, I believe the image stabilization is going to be really good on this one. I messed with it some last night, like I said a while ago. But uh, the main thing I'm after that I want, <laughs> I want one that, that works, of course. Um, and I'm looking for good good audio, so that's what uh, that's what I'm gonna be testing today. Is that stuff? Uh, GoPros have not had any serious competition since they have been birthed. For uh, my first GoPro, I got in 2012. It was a Hero 2, and so I've had every GoPro except for a uh, Hero 7. I didn't have a Hero 7. And man, I was just about to pull the trigger and trade in my GoPro. Yeah, you just don't even roll that ass now. Don't get me. I like it there, man. What's that, a rotoback? Yeah, I like that phone. It did it have it. <laughs> yeah, so you be stalking me that much, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I, I, I get you one because there's uh they sent me 36 of them things. Yeah, I need it. Uh, yeah, I like that one. I like it. That's actually a very nice cap, man. There ain't no joke about that. I think you know what you're about to hear, man. But anyway, what I was talking about, uh, GoPro has not had any competition. I've had every GoPro except for the Hero 7, and I was just about to trade in my last two GoPros. They have a trade-in program where you can trade them in, and they knock $100, or I forget what it is, off for a new one. And I beat cameras up pretty bad, man. And uh, right about the time I was going to do that, DJI came out with this Osmo right here y'all are on right now and I was like heck yeah oh that's cool it's actually got an audio level piped back to the uh, app right there that I just noticed so I can see what the that slid so I set it up last night here's a cool thing all of my GoPro mounts that I've got and the ones I made this one right here will go right on it. Matter of fact, it's on my GoPro base stuck in my window right now. That, and I had studied that and studied that. And I, I said, I believe it's gonna work. And so when I got this thing in yesterday, the first thing I done was pull it out of the box and went and did it and done it. Right off the bat, two things that I really like about it, it has its own SD card place. I'm not a fan of the micro SD cards, but with these action cameras, you don't have a choice but to, but to use micro SD because the cameras are small anyhow. 
the GoPro, the micro SD crimps in in the bottom of, in the bottom of the camera, right directly beside the battery. It's aggravating uh, to get to. This one here, the SD card goes in the side of the camera, and the battery goes in, the battery goes in the bottom of the camera. The battery does not have a door on it. The battery is its own deal with its own cover and it all snaps in together at the same time. So the battery is basically like a cartridge with its own cover on it. And it's got two locks on it, which is very cool. So you're not gonna accidentally knock it done unless you get both locks. So those two things are huge pluses. The interface on it, like the app part of it, the DJI Mimo app, and comparing it to the to the GoPro, a lot freaking easier, man. The thing just, the setup on it was simple, connecting it was simple. Uh, I've had a lot of trouble with GoPros trying to get them to connect uh, through the Wi-Fi back to my phone. It was very simple. One thing, the other thing I'm gonna watch on it is battery. Uh, GoPros suck on batteries, which these action cams, they're just, they're tough on batteries. And so I'll never, I'll never be filming in 4K. I'm filming 1080. This is 1080 right now. And uh, I think as long as I don't film in 4K, it'll be fine. So I'm gonna kill it right here. So I got that one loaded. He's pulling away. Print me another ticket here right quick. I print all the trip tickets for the trucks. These tickets are what they uh, what they use to get into the mill with. So I did it on my iPad right there, and then the ticket's gonna come out from the zebra printer right here. You see it right there printing out. Okay. And I just tear it off. And what they do is they just scan that barcode and it gets them right in the mill. I print, I have all the, I put in all the information on the ticket. And then, of course, I print it so the driver don't have to input no information whatsoever on the ticket. It's got a barcode or either a QR style type code on it, depending on the meal that it's, that it's being delivered to, what kind of system they've got. And then uh, when they get the meal, all that has to happen in is the, they just scan it. Um, they just scan it, just like you buy something at Walmart, or grocery store, and all the information is there. You go right into the mill. So everything is uh, pre-done right here in the woods. And then at the end of the day, when I get done, then I take my iPad Mini and I sync it back to the company that we're cutting this timber for. And all those tickets, just like that right there, go straight to their headquarters, just like that. All the information it has, uh, like for instance, when I hit this right here, hit okay, there's a Latin longitude right there, whatever the coordinates. There's all the tracks that we've got that are open right now on this, on this list right here. And so the one that I'm closest to, it knows the GPS coordinates, which is this one right here, I just touch it and then I input the information in, go through all the steps there, whatever. We have here in our area, I'm not sure how many it is, but we're going to have well over 50 mills within a 100 mile radius of us. We are, we are just inundated with wood mills, all different types of wood mills. We have one big paper mill here. And then the rest are uh, chip mills, um, log mills, other different miscellaneous mills, holding yards, you name it, we have got them. We've got a ton of them. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna stop this thing here. I'm gonna put one more on this side, on this good side here. I'm gonna stop it and get the loading. And uh, that's gonna be that. All right, so the first clip that y'all just seen was six minutes and 50 seconds long. I just transferred that six minute and 50 second clip back to my phone wirelessly from the camera over Wi-Fi, the camera's Wi-Fi, and eight, eight minutes and five seconds, if you can see that right there. A GoPro would not have touched that. 
at all. It would not have happened. Matter of fact, the GoPro was so poor on transfer and stuff that I didn't even I didn't even use the wireless transfer anymore. I pulled the card out of it every time and put it in a card reader. Just got it, it just wouldn't it wouldn't transfer fast enough or anything. It just it was bad. So GoPro has not had any competition but till now and I think GoPro has just kind of used us and the fact that they haven't really given us everything that we needed. Speed, some some of the quality had incredible, incredible picture quality. But the audio, like there's a lot of people who had problems with GoPro, they wouldn't record sound sometimes and stuff like that. And then the transfer rate, but here's what's gonna happen. GoPro's either gonna have to get with the program now. Or DJI is gonna put them out of business like like they did on their drones and uh, and GoPro needed that. I mean, you can't afford to be swapping cameras out, you know, every year and stuff like that. But it's, you know, it's one thing if you're making money off your camera or whatever, but if you're just a, a person who wants to film and then you got something that don't really want to work. Man, that's, that's tough right there, but, uh, so, so far, and oh, by the way, this camera was not giving me, I bought this camera, and if this thing works like the way it's working right now, I'll turn around and I'll go ahead and order a, uh, another one, that's what I'll do. I like to have two of everything, that way I've got, uh, I've got constant backup, total redundancy, you know. This thing really sucks, literally. So I'm still playing with the new camera here. Um installing the uh dog on it right now. I hadn't put it on whenever uh I got the saw ready, so put it on at the night. I've got a uh I'm not sure when y'all watch this video. I've got a pretty good sized job that I got coming up. I actually took the took the mini and dropped it off and left my gooseneck over there this evening and i will be taking my tractor over there also to i want to have it over there so it'll be a it's gonna be a good one for y'all to uh, watch whenever i uh film it there let it run right there and talk all i'm doing now is i'm just checking all the 
parameters on the camera, what I can get away with, and stuff like that as far as sound goes. If you ain't never run a saw with, with a, without the dog on it, it's, uh, it's pretty trying. I just didn't stick it on there the other night when I threw the bar on. I did sharpen the chain on it though. Got it sharpened up. And uh, I sharpened the, the chain on the 550 also. The your these X cut chains, the theory behind them is is you're not supposed to have to sharpen them very often. You're supposed to be able to go a lot longer time in between sharpening them. But <laughs> You know how that goes in, in theory. We'll see. I can't I can't run a I can't run a chain five or six tanks of gas without sharpening one man. It just it ain't gonna happen. I mean it's it's uh not going to happen. Alright. She's on there ready to get rock and roll. Well uh I'm throwing the truck with the other ones. Oh, I meant to get the scabbard over there too for the little one. Put this on. And I'm gonna go out there and feed Taylor right quick.